Hi, I'm Michael Tennant. I'm now the CEO of our Department of Business, while Alistair Shields leads a joint task force investigation into Indigenous Land Administration with the Commonwealth and Queensland Governments. If you were a regular fan of Alistair's business bulletins, then I'm sure you're missing his colourful shirts as much as me. I recently worked in the agency for six weeks while Alistair was on leave. I'm pleased to be back. I'm looking forward to further strengthening our department's services to support businesses meet their statutory obligations and to enable our territory businesses, industries and economy to grow and prosper. Our department is committed to making our territory the best place to do business. Deloitte released a report this week about unleashing productivity by cutting red tape. The total cost of administering and complying with rules and regulations, both those imposed by all levels of government and those that businesses choose to impose on themselves and on other businesses, come in at $4 billion in the Northern Territory. The report found that the cost of rules and red tape that businesses and organisations impose on themselves and on other businesses is double the cost of those imposed by all levels of government. Deloitte will be holding a seminar at the Northern Australia Development Office in Darwin on the 5th of November where businesses can hear more about the report and how they can unleash their own productivity by reducing unnecessary rules and red tape they impose on themselves and on other businesses. The Northern Territory Government is taking the lead to cut red tape. We recently launched a new Have Your Say website where members of our business community and the public can share their ideas on how to further reduce the burden of red tape. I recently attended the first Development and Construction Advisory Council meeting where members are looking to identify ambitious red tape reduction opportunities to support our construction and development industry. October has been a big month. I hope you all enjoyed some of the great October Business Month events during its 20th anniversary. My thanks to our OBM partner, our Chamber of Commerce, and to all of our sponsors and all of the participants. This was the biggest OBM with more events and participants than ever before. We're expecting the final attendance count to exceed 7,000 across all government and partner events. And we're looking forward to OBM's 21st birthday celebration in 2015 to being even better. Our department is striving to continuously improve our client services. I encourage businesses to tell us how we can help you. You can make contact with me direct through the CEO email account. Or you can visit our website, call our 1800 hotline, or visit our territory business centres to find out more about our services and how we can help your business. I look forward to meeting with as many of you as I can over the coming months at different chamber, industry and business events and during my regular visits to each of our regions.